just gonna start, just gonna start. Stay hydrated. She's back. Cooking with Mimi is back. I know, I know. It's been a long, 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 long time. Let me zoom in because it's dramatic. I'm gonna stand right here. <laughs> You're very far away. Let me explain. Let me explain what is happening because some people are asking. So if you've been here for a really long time, thank you. You will know that I have made a dramatic video about me stopping this in Mimi's bowl YouTube video thing because I was Honestly, I don't even know why. I was not in a good place here. I needed something new. I needed a little breather. But I am back and I still have no idea what this channel is going to be. But they say, start before you're ready. So, we're going to cook today. I'm so happy to be back. Let's a nice hug. Mm. And let's zoom back out because this is too much. So in the meantime, I went back to Suriname and of course I learned some new cuisine, at least new to me. I am going to make a nice Greek bana soup, which means I am going to need a bana, which is a plantain. I'm also going to need this cassava. I don't have all the ingredients for the original recipe, but we don't do original here. Actually, I am going to make my own original Greek bana soup using potatoes. How many potatoes? A lot of potatoes because I like potatoes. Four. Uh, is that too much? Three or four? Four. We also need to open the fridge. What is this called in English? Bray, 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 bray. Someone tell me bray. I don't know. I put it here so you can learn. I'm doing too much talking. Food needs to be prepared within an hour. So let's move it, baby. First, cook some rice. That's two cups of rice. Make sure you free your wrists, okay? You need bare wrists so you can really dig deep, wash your rice. Then you do it again, two times. Just do it. So two cups of water with two cups of rice. All Asian households have a rice cooker. So just use a rice cooker, it's so easy. Start. Okay, now we can get on to the real stuff. These ingredients. Let's do the hardest part first, which is actually, these two are really hard to peel. So you need a good knife from Ikea, not sponsored. Chop the bottom and the top off. This is what it looks like on the inside. You cut a small chunk and then you kind of like cut across the side. Be very careful. From that part, you can kind of peel it out like that. I'm honestly really impressed. It never worked out this well before. <laughs> Let's see if that was a fluke or I'm just getting better at this. This is so satisfying. Okay, here's where it gets a bit messy. Anyways, this is actually not that hard to do. Oh, I forgot one more tip. If you cut through it, then you kind of bend it to the side like this. So you kind of create an opening. Yay, we did it. Here's our beautiful cassava. Then we're going to cut it into chunks. Something like this. Now it's time to peel this uh, plantain. This is, okay, this is going well. Ooh, this is going really well. I should cook in front of a camera more, man. This is going really well. Okay, here's your plantain. Instead of grating it with this thing, I am going to use a food processor. This thing. So far, so good. We're going to make little balls, but I find that not flavorful enough. So I am going to add flavors, like onion powder, lachinata smoked paprika powder, a bit of turmeric, a bit of black pepper, salt. Let's blend, Maria. Good enough, set this aside. We're in a rush. We need to boil some water. Time to peel the potato and then cut this vegetable that I still don't know the name of in English. How embarrassing. The water is boiling. We're going to add the kazapa in. Wait, just kidding. We're going to add one veggie cube or maybe two. Depends on how much water. Then, very important, be 
diamond bow, all spice grain. Just add a couple, maybe five. Now that the cube is dissolved, I'm going to add the cassava and also the potato cubes. Just cut it however you want to cut it. Look at nature. So beautiful. It is so dirty. Oopsie, you caught me snacking on some glazed pecans. So good. Find my Madame Jeanette. For those who don't know, this is a Madame Jeanette. Yes, Madame. You don't want to mess with her. Cut a tiny piece off. Just a bit like this and then put it in your soup. And now, I think it's time to add the this vegetable that I still don't know the name of. When do I add it in? Now? Or now? Or now? Yes, now. Beautiful. I think it's time for the most exciting part. The bows. Need to remove this dangerous thing. I need to sneeze. Nope, not coming. Take a little bit, and then you just do this, and this, and this, and then you have a ball. Can you see the ball? And that's all you do. Shape it, and look. Young man. So the soup is here, the Greek banana soup. And then we have a bowl of rice here. Tend it, tend it, tend it. I might be man there. I have more Madame Chanel there. And they are curing. Don't you think that the soup is thicker? Mm -hmm. Why do you have so much soup? No, you have a new hand. Have a sucker. Okay. I This is the plantain ball. What do you think? Mm. The texture is also different. I forgot the name of this vegetable. I know now. It's leek. Leek. Ha ha ha. So this is the green banana soup with potatoes, leek, plantain balls. Kazaba. Kazaba. Oh, I haven't. Why don't I have kazaba? Okay, look at the beautiful kazaba. It has become a bit transparent after you cook it. Where's the other one? Okay. Okay. Cooking with Mimi's back, Steffi. Good. Do you want to say hi? Um, do you like our spoon? Okay, I forgot. <laughs> bye bye. See you next time. Subscribe, like, what do you want to Comment.